on the mic. Is this working? All right, I've got a few short poems. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I'm going to smile for the camera. <laughs> no, I hold my things in my right hand, things I'm learning here. I'm learning if I hold my papers in the right hand, then I face the camera, even though I'm left-handed, and it goes off my brain working properly, but we can see how it works. <laughs> my first poem is one sentence, so you better pay attention. I'm not kidding, it's a good poem. In the backyard. Digging in the garden dirt, my father taught me how to transplant the fragile tomato plant, so small, I understand his passion. Aww. Aww. <laughs> this is called Reddick Village, and it's after Louise Glick, one of my favorite poets. <laughs> Autumn leaves glow gro gold, rust, and crimson as a jazz trio plays Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. I met my love under the Brooklyn Bridge, or was it the arch in Washington Square Park? Did I imagine him? Did he touch my hair? I have dealt with the nuns who live in convents. I have seen the children who jump double dutch. He squeezed my hand. Did I imagine this? I drown in my swim. Is he the reason? I met my love under the Brooklyn Bridge. Who is my love? Disappearing, ice melting, eclipsed. Then the subway returned me to my home I had forgotten. This is called Wind, Salt, and Seaweed, and it's a cento from words from a book, Tombo, by W.S. Desperio, and I probably screwed up his name. Her bed must hair, mango aura, cherished darkness withdraws into summer's marbled air. Beyond the clouds, a vortex plunge, wormy matter complexifying, an unfinished squeeze, waiting. This is called stumbling. Thorns, thistle, be careful, baby. That is her heart, soft, wet, fragile. He looks at her, wanting to eat her up. She looks delicious, doesn't she? Vulnerable antique lace disintegrates easily. His glass shards, invisible, pierce her skin even through the clothes she wears. The swallows will still fly over the blackberries and into the maples. She's just a girl with tears in her belly, digging in topsoil, planting deception, linking memoir to history. 